In today's video, we're gonna show you how to make a woven cutting board. Drew Fisher, eat your heart out. <laughs> I grabbed a couple of offcuts from other cutting boards and projects I made and cut them to size to be able to get them nice and smooth and ran a piece of walnut through my planer to be able to get it nice and flat so we can begin our project. I take a piece of the offcut, I've already put tape on one side of it, position it on the piece of walnut where I want it to be and kind of strike a line so I get an approximate location of where that's going to be. I'm going to do the glue trick on the painter's tape to be able to get it to stay while I put it through the bandsaw. So after I have the tape on, I put a few blobs of CA glue on there. Okay, so now I've drawn on here my cut line, so I'll cut from here and attempt to do that and come out over here. And then that one will come this way and come down here. So you got to get good and drunk to be able to draw these lines that straight. Same thing over here, we got the lines drawn. We'll see how it works out. Now these lines are about proximate guidelines to be able to help you know which direction you're gonna go and you hope that you can follow them and stay within proximity of the lines to make it work out for a nice smooth cut. Now this is not like coloring books when somebody's gonna yell at you for coloring outside the lines. Just do the best you can. And then the second board. So this is the lines that you draw on there. So Drew Fishers, not everybody can draw a straight line like you can, but here we are. Worked out pretty good. Now I'm making the second cut on that same board. Be able to get the opposite side of that and get this odd shaped piece all carved up to a pretty shape. Okay, so this is what it looks like before you cut it and you remove these pieces here and you basically will take this guy off here and he'll be inserted there with those guys. So now the trick is put some little banding in there and glue that together. Yes, sir. So this will be board two. That guy comes off. This separates from here. And it goes in there. There we go. Here's the first glue up for each of the boards. So we have this piece here being glued in. And then we have this piece here being glued in. Okay, so I took this piece out of the clamp and we have this little bit of veneer that's hanging out of the end and that will trim those two guys off and then we'll worry about gluing up the next piece. So this guy's gonna fit in here kind of like that. Here's a sample of doing a dry fit clamp up. It's important that you do that to make sure your spacer boards in between are gonna be able to flex and fit into the area you want them to. So after the glue up of the first board, I take it to the bandsaw and saw off the extra length or height of the boards so I can continue to work on the next piece. Okay, for this board, I'm trying to decide how to work in this block of Paduk. It has this nice reddish texture on it, or to work in this piece, which is a straight piece, and do a straight cut across there like that. Or something a little bit different. So I think I'm gonna start with this, It'll be easier, make a straight cut across there, and then come back and do the other. So to make a straight cut across a diagonal on this board, I put it on my straight cut or taper jig. So now I'm gluing in this straight multicolored piece here. It's got maple, walnut, and cherry in it. And the key to doing this glue up is to make as many complicated clamping pressures as you can get. So the key to this are these two long ones to be able to hold the piece from sliding when you put these two guys on, because when these squeezed, this 
top board would go that way and it would go up and it would be mismatched up here. So this guy and this guy prevent it from getting longer. And then these two guys are the ones that keep it together to put the pressure in here. Then we have these calls on here in an attempt to keep it flat. So now I'll let that dry and see how it looks. Okay, so here's the two boards and I did a little quick little trim on the bandsaw to trim off the stuff that was a little high. So that's what I have so far. So I'm gonna continue to figure out how to add a couple more features in there and we'll get that done. Now I added the piece of Paducah for a little splash of red. And then I had this other piece of walnut that also has some reddish in it and put a little banding on it. All right, so now I have a couple of these pieces that are sticking out a little bit. I'm gonna cut this off and we'll cut that off with the bandsaw. Well, oh, just a little trim job here. <laughs> Now this is a little planer era here because we had the end grain on here and we put it through the planer, it busted it when it came back out. So this has to be cut with a table saw. We'll do a round over, we'll do something on that side there. So every good charcuterie board needs a handle. So I get out my Forstner bit, uh, one and three eighths, and I cut myself a handle. So after all the work and sanding and getting it smooth, here's what they look like before we put in the final coat of oil. And here's one of the boards, just gorgeous. Hope you liked our videos on woven cutting boards. We didn't just have one design or one particular way we did it. Actually, I have more. Here's the third design. So if you liked our woven cutting boards, hey, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Want to see more of our woodworking videos? Consider subscribing down below. And as usual, come back and see me real soon. Say this cigarette's just another nail in my coffin. My lungs are shot to hell, and I just can't seem to stop coughing. When my time comes and the end is near, I think I'll light one up and have a beer and hope and pray on my last day for a cigarette machine in heaven. Please let there be a cigarette machine in heaven.